Hello students. Today we'll study the remaining two parts of the verbs expressing the past. In the last video or in the last class we have discussed the first two that is simple past tense and past continuous. Today we'll discuss about past perfect and past perfect continuous tense. Now along with past perfect tense and past perfect continuous tense today we'll also discuss uh, one basic difference and a major difference between simple past and present perfect now student gets uh, all of you get confused many student get confused with simple past when to use simple past and when to use present perfect so today in this video we'll also discuss about the difference between the difference between present perfect and simple past so let's start so students as i said today we'll discuss about past perfect tense and past perfect continuous tense now when we use past perfect tense now past perfect tense is used to express an action completed before a given past moment now this is very necessary action completed before a given past moment now now you, it will be very much clear to you by the following examples now see here she had gone to the coffee shop before she came home now action completed this action is completed she had gone to the coffee shop this action is completed what it says the past perfect tense is used to express an action completed before a given past moment now what is given past moment before she came home this is the given past moment so before that given past moment her action is completed she had gone to the coffee shop see one more i had written articles on various topics before he came before he came is the given past moment my action is completed i had written articles to express an action completed now this written writing of articles this action is completed on various topic before he came this is the given past moment see one more they had played football in that field they had played football in that field before it started to rain before it started to rain means the, this is the given past moment and before that this action is completed now sometimes it is also used with such verbs as hope expect think mean suppose want etc to suggest that an expected past action did not take place we were expecting that but it it did not take place we had hoped that most of the guests would come but what happened but they didn't the guest did not come expected past action i expected or we expected that we had hoped that most of the guests would come but they didn't wo log nahi hai i had thought of inviting of at least my close friends but i didn't this was an expected so sometimes with such verbs past perfect tense is used we can see some more examples i had hoped that she would pass but she didn't so expected now let's see past perfect continuous now this tense when it is used this tense is used to express an action which began before a definite moment in the past began before a definite moment in the past had continued up to that moment up to that definite moment in the past and was still in progress at that moment that definite moment that past moment or had recently finished see once more an action which began before a definite moment 
in the past had continued up to that moment that past moment and was still in progress at that past moment or has recently had recently finished see here helen had been listening the same music when i came back home so this is the definite past moment an action which began before a definite moment this is the definite moment listening to the music listening to the music this began before this moment this is the past given past moment when i came back home had continued up to that moment when i came back home she had been listening the same music she had been listening the same music so continued up to that moment and was still in progress at that moment when i came back home she was still listening or had recently finished so helen had been listening the same music when i came back home so we use had plus been plus ing form of the verb that is before and for the negative one for the negative sentence helen had not been listening so just between had and been we insert not and rest remains the same in the negative they had been playing football now listen here the same example i have taken just to make it clear that what difference between present past perfect and past perfect tense in past perfect i have written they had played football in that field before it started to rain and see here here i have written they had been playing football they had been playing football in that field before it started to rain now what's the difference that sentence showed that action action completed before a definite past moment na past perfect tense is used that expressed an action completed before a given past moment but here it says they had been playing football in that field before it started to rain so this is the given past moment and the action had been going up to that moment or had recently finished so they had been playing football in the field before it started to rain now we'll see basic difference between simple past and present perfect now simple past tense expresses a completed action not connected with the present but present perfect tense expresses a completed action connected with the present now what does it mean see here lisa broke her leg yesterday so we took her to the hospital so it has nothing to do with the present but here lisa has broken her leg and now she can't participate in the play so yeah you can see we have used present perfect and it has connected it is connected with the present it has some connection with the present she has broken her leg so she now now she can't participate in the play but here lisa broke her leg yesterday it's simple past lisa broke her leg yesterday so we took her to the hospital it has nothing to do with the present it has nothing to do with the present it has it has no connection with the present and simple past says expresses a completed action not connected with the present see she lived in spain for 2 years means she lived it has nothing to do with the present but she has lived in spain for 2 years means it might be possible that she is still living so it has when we use present perfect this means the action is connected with the present see here i have met him yesterday the sentence is wrong i have met him yesterday the sentence is totally wrong how because i am using yesterday also the time link and i have used present perfect so if i say i have met him it's correct or if i don't use 
present perfect then i'll use if i want to use yesterday then i'll use simple past i met him yesterday so i think now the difference between simple past and present perfect is clear so listen one more example if i say i have lost my pen and if i say i lost my pen yesterday means i lost my pen yesterday means no link with the present yesterday i have lost it nothing to do with the present but if i say i have lost my pen means it has something to do with the present completed action connected with the present it has something to do with the present if i say that i have lost my pen means i don't have any pen right now i don't have any pen right now so this action the losing of pen this action is connected with the present same if i say i purchased a laptop last year means last year i have purchased nothing to do with the present but if i say i have purchased a laptop means something to do with the present suppose we can say that i have purchased a laptop so i can work even faster now so the difference between i hope students difference between simple past and present perfect is clear to you okay thank you students